Prosecutors called it a plot born of rage to kidnap Governor Gretchen Whitmer. But after four and a half days of deliberating, a federal court jury came back with not a single conviction. Adam Fox, Barry Croft Jr., Brandon Caserta, and Daniel Harris were accused of targeting the governor because of her COVID restrictions. But the jury found Caserta and Harris not guilty of all charges in the kidnapping conspiracy. Jurors were deadlocked, unable to reach a verdict on the charges against Fox and Croft. The government can seek to try them again. The four were charged with planning to kidnap the governor from her summer home and blow up a bridge leading to it to slow the police response. Prosecutors said they practiced using weapons and conducted surveillance of the governor's home to prepare. But defense lawyers said the four were just big talkers, sometimes fueled by drug abuse, who were spurred on by no fewer than 12 undercover FBI agents and informants. And pushing the, the conspiracy that just never was, never was, never was going to be. Our governor was never in any danger, and uh, I think the jury, even though they didn't get all of it, but, you know, they smelled enough of it. The verdict was a big blow to the FBI's use of informants in the case, but not a total shutout. Two other men, Caleb Franks and Ty Garbin, earlier pleaded guilty to conspiracy charges. Tonight, Governor Whitmer's office says the plot to kidnap her was the result of violent political rhetoric that has become all too common. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.